So let's suppose you want to add some arbitrary prim var to a USD primitive. You can do this through VEX, or you can do it using the edit properties lop. Edit properties. I'm going to pull my mesh zero up here. Oops, make sure that remains connected. All right, and if you click the edit properties button here, you'll get this edit parameter interface. And it is already set to look at the properties that currently exist on the primitive. But we want to add a new one, so I'm going to spin down properties here in the center and scroll down and find the data type that I want to use, which is string. So I'll pull string over and drop it in the center tab, and it'll ask me to provide a name for the new property. So I want this to be a primvar, so I'm going to type primvars colon my property and click OK. And that actually creates two parameters here. Um, I'm not entirely certain what the difference between these is, but one of them has this logic that lets you block it in USD if necessary. I'm going to click Accept, and now I can see I've got a new parameter in my edit properties, and I'm going to type foo here. And if I look down here at my primvars, I can see I now have a primvars, my property, and foo. Now, as I said, you can also do this with uh, vex. If I drop down an attribute wrangle, I can use the typical vex syntax and say s at, say, my other property, property equals opening quote bar close quote semicolon and then I can see now I've now got in primvars oops I didn't type uh, that correctly I want to say s at primvars colon my other property and not hit enter there we go primvars my other property is now bar and so that's two ways of creating an arbitrary attribute on a primitive in Houdini Solaris.